Hey guys, Boom Boys here, and today we are gonna do a review and installation of the BroCraft bait board. So we just got this in, we bought this off of Amazon, and I'll tell you what, my first impression of it is that this thing is way sturdier and bulkier than I thought, especially the base. Now this base looks like it has a Scotty's base where you just push that button there, this comes off just like this. So this base is actually meant to mount underneath this just like this and then it fits in these slots just like that so you can you can pull it out and put it in there so this bait board is actually removable which is really what i wanted so this actually mount right here is for our rail so the rail is on our ranger right here we're going to mount the bait board here and so the bait board will be a little bit off the boat so when we're cutting up shad, so all the blood and all the juice and stuff will go off the boat and won't be in the boat. Because normally, we're either cutting them on our bait tank or just whatever we can find. We're usually using scissors like this to cut them up, you know, for chumming the water. But this bait board is actually, I would say the base is a lot more sturdy than the bait board here. But the bait board is pretty solid. I mean, it's, it's like your average cutting board. Um, but one thing I really like about it, it's got some nice openings here. So if you got a really big, like these fisk fiskers here, you know, big scissors like this, they fit in there, right? And it's got a little hole here. So here's some little Berkeley, you know, that you fit right there. So, you know, a great place for them. But anyways, overall guys, I'm very pleased with it. I'm probably the most excited about this base. This base looks way overbuilt for the board. But anyways, let's go ahead and install this thing and put it on the rail and we'll take you through that. So we're gonna take the base off here, just like, just like this. And this base goes right here on the back, just like this. Now this kit actually gives you an Allen wrench and then it comes with four screws. So let's bring this out just like this. Now the screws actually go, from, go in from this side and it's kind of, chamfered right here. So we're gonna start the screws by hand here, just like this. Now these screws are like, well in my set, it's like a PZ2 size. So it's a larger size screw. So we'll go ahead and start these, just like this. Now again, these holes are chamfered. Now one thing I would say is one of my screws is not the same as the rest. So this screw actually, if you see the, the head on it, it's a little bit different, so it's not gonna fit in the hole. I'm assuming this is a mistake, but um, it appears it's the same size thread and the same size bolt. I don't know why it's not the same, but, and it's not as long, so. Could be a mistake on the manufacturer. My guess is, my guess is it is. Because as you can see there, it sticks up. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna go find another screw that will fit down in that because that's not gonna work. That actually sticks up right there where you can feel it when where these in the chamfer where they're recessed. So I'm gonna go trying to find a stainless steel screw and replace that screw. Brocraft, I hope that was a one-time deal, but we'll 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 do that later. It won't be a big deal. Again, like I mentioned, it comes with an Allen wrench, but it's gonna be a lot easier. This is a size five in my Mac kit right here. Allen wrench, so I'm just gonna go ahead and unscrew all these here. Pretty much all the way out. Now again, this looks like it would fit a very, very large rail. I mean, these, as you can tell, these things are gonna go way out. So our rail is less than an inch on this. It's a Ranger 621 VS, and the, it's, it's a lot bigger. So we're gonna go ahead and screw all these out here. Really, really long screws, you can tell. So that's that's kind of nice. It appears to be really, really, really solid aluminum, man. I mean, a lot thicker than what you would think that comes with that board. I said this was like a Scotty mount, Brocraft here, I don't know. I don't know if they can put their brand on a Scotty's mount, but, and, and it, this mount right here, you can tell, it's got one from the top and the side. I'm not so sure because it doesn't appear that you can mount it like that. So I don't know if they're just using a universal mount here or what, but 
we'll find out when we get this thing on. We're gonna mount it on the rail just like this. So this part will fit up. Now, I'll probably angle it just a little bit like this to get the, to tilt it, right? To get a little bit of an angle. So the blood and all that, you know, and the juice from the, from the shad that we're normally cutting will run off the boat. So I'm sure you could put something in between this and the rail you know if you're really particular i it, i don't i don't mind i don't think the i don't think it's gonna dent the rail but some some of you might want to put something in between there we're gonna hand thread this in here all four of these again i think this rail is um if i'm not mistaken it's nine tenths of an inch so if you can use for judge i mean this this would look like it would fit a fairly fairly large rail so whatever boat you guys might have man this thing would be, would likely fit it now anything smaller than this rail it doesn't appear that it would probably fit it that well so let's go, on, go ahead here and i'm gonna put on this just to kind of see what it looks like so just like that so i would say just a slight angle you know, if you got waves and stuff, if it's level, you might have that stuff running in your boat, which we don't want. So I'm gonna probably angle it just a little bit, just like that. All right, so I've tightened these pretty good, good hand tight. Now let's see about moving it. This thing is stuck, man. I'm not twisting it, it won't twist. I will guarantee you this thing will not move. So really cool about that. Let's see how easy it comes off. So that's what we'll probably a lot of times have it as, as we're going, maybe as we're, if, if we've got the tarp on it or the cover on the boat, um, that's what it'll look like. So it's not in the way. So we got, as you can tell, our, we have our Driftmaster rod holders here and here. So if we have this off, it's not in the way. And to put it back on, just like that. Pretty cool, really easy. Snaps right in push this lever right here that's on top it's a good place for it and put it back up and now here's the other spot that i mentioned before i don't know if no that's not something that that uh that, that i don't think we could use no i don't think so so i'm sure there's some some of your boats that it might fit where you could maybe turn this the other way and it will hang off your boat our boat's a little bit angled, like curved out. If your boat was straight off, then you might be able to hold your board like this and travel with it where it's not maybe up out of the, where you can put this on the outside, if that makes sense. But super easy. Man, I'll tell you what, we're going to enjoy this. You know, and if you got your big old scissors here, cutters there, right there, um, really good. Looks like a great board, guys. We're excited to use this. It does wiggle a little bit. Now it wiggles in the mount here. This mount is not doing anything, but it looks like where the board and the mount connects to this hard mount to the rail, it wiggles a little bit, but it, it's not, it's not flimsy. But again, like I mentioned, it's not as sturdy as it. This mount is super sturdy. I mean, I wouldn't hesitate to put a rod holder on this mount. But one thing I noticed from this, there's just one, kind of looks like a Mickey Mouse screw that's holding each of these on. So I don't know how that's gonna hold up. Only time will tell. And I'm sure in one of our adventures, we'll probably give an update on, on the review of this BroCraft bait board here. But anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like the video, subscribe to the Boom Boys, check out all our other adventures. We'll have some links in the description below where you can check us out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you.